On behalf of 24HourAnswers.com, I welcome you to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to look at five examples that cover some basic differentiation rules. And we can do these very fast once we get the basics out of the way. We don't have to do the long way of doing the derivative anymore, the formal definition. Nope, don't have to worry about that. As a matter of fact, this first example here is one that we have looked at previously doing the long way of a derivative. Here it was from an earlier video where we did the formal definition of a derivative and we got our derivative to be 6x minus 5 for this function that we had given up here. So here's that same problem again, y equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. Here's how you find the derivative very fast. If you have a polynomial and you have, no matter how many terms you have, if you have a straight up polynomial, start with this first term here. Its exponent is a 2. Pull it down and multiply it by the coefficient that's already out here. 2 times 3 is 6. x, subtract 1 from that exponent that you just pulled down. Since we had an exponent of 2, our exponent becomes 1. Now move on to the next term. This is minus 5x to the first. Apply that same rule to this polynomial term here. Pull the 1 down, multiply it by negative 5, so we have minus 5 x to the what power now? We subtract 1 from our exponent, so we get 0. And here is a rule about constants. The derivative of a constant, 4 is a constant because we don't have a variable, its derivative is going to be 0. Now to explain that to you a little bit more, think about this. If we have 4, that's the same thing as 4x to the 0 power. And the reason why 4 is equal to 4x to the 0 power, because x to the 0 power is always going to be 1 times 4. We get 4 right back. Let's do that power rule again that I've already showed you for these first two terms. If you want to find this derivative, you pull the exponent down, multiply it by what's out here. Well, that gives us 0. So that derivative is going to be 0x to the what power? It doesn't really matter. Even if we do subtract 1, yes, that would give us negative 1 up here. But the point is, when we pull a 0 down here and we multiply by it, this whole thing becomes 0. What I want you to remember is the derivative of a constant is 0. Now we can definitely simplify this down and make it look a little bit better. We have y prime equals 6x. You don't have to write the 1 for the exponent. And then minus 5x to the 0, well, x to the 0 is 1 times a negative 5 is minus 5. There's our derivative yet again. And the rules always, for polynomials, the rules will always work like that. For this second example here, f prime of x, now we don't have a polynomial term here, but this term right here is technically a polynomial term. Apply what's called the power rule here. We pull the 4 down and we multiply it by understood 1. So we have 4x to the third now. Remember, we subtract 1 from that exponent. Pull the 2 down with this term. So that's minus 14 because we have to multiply by that 7. That becomes x to the first. I'm not going to write that 1 because all we're doing is subtracting 1 from the exponent. That's where that x to the understood 1 power comes from. And now we have a trigonometric expression right here, this trig term. The derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x. Pull out your calculus textbook, look at your trigonometric derivatives, and you will see that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. With that said, let's look at the third one. s prime of t, look how fast we're doing these things. The derivative of sine is cosine. So the derivative of sine of t is going to be cosine of t. And the derivative of e to the t is e to the t. So I'm going over these rules and hopefully you are looking through your textbook and you are seeing these derivatives that are written right there. I'm pretty sure there's a big table of derivatives somewhere in your textbook that are going over some of these uh, trigonometric pieces and this exponential piece here. So basic rules to remember here, the power rules, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. The derivative of sine is cosine. Just don't forget your variables. And then also the derivative of e to the t or e to the whatever is e to that variable. Number four, don't want you to forget this one, h prime of x. Well, h of x is a constant. The derivative of a constant earlier was zero, right? So the derivative of six is zero. 
And then last but not least, g prime of z. g prime of z. This is a linear polynomial here. So this is z to the first. Pull your one down, multiply it by two. So we have two z to the what power now? When we subtract one, we get zero. And the derivative of a constant is going to be zero. Cleaning this up, we get g prime of z is simply equal to two. Because two times one, that's a one right there. Two times one is two minus zero, we still get two. Now, if you've watched the videos up until this point, um, especially like this one right here, 2z minus 1, that is really a linear function. And the derivative of a linear function is always going to be equal to the slope of that particular line. Notice our derivative is 2. This one here, h of x equals 6, if you were to graph this, all you would have was a horizontal line. That line has no change in its y value. There is no rate of change in that y value whatsoever. Y will always be equal to 6. So since there is no change in the y, the derivative, which is what we refer to as the instantaneous rate of change, there's not going to be any since the function remains constant. Hence, the derivative of a constant is 0. We also hit on some trigonometric pieces here and then an exponential piece. There are some more basic rules to cover, but for now, this actually covers uh, probably a whole section in your calculus book on going over the power rules, some trig pieces for derivatives, some exponential pieces, the derivative of a constant, the derivative of a linear function. That's all covered in these five examples. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Links to our social media are in the description below.